Hello everybody. This is going to be a two-part video. The first part is going to be Pigeon Enemies Part 4, and we'll discuss coccidiosis. The second part of this video, we're going to talk about sulfur. Coccidiosis is a parasite, gets into the intestines, the linings, and actually burrows into the cell. When a pigeon ingests one egg, one egg, and it, the coating is digested off, you probably have 10, maybe 12 coccids, and they go into it the cells and they change and they multiply into 10 or 12. So where you had one egg, you had 10 coxy, now you got 40 or 50. And this continues to happen until you have a mature coccidiosis. I'm going to provide a link that goes into it in detail on my website. You can read it. I would suggest that you click that link at some point. One of the signs of coxie is a crooked keel. Coxie thrives on thymine. In fact, one of the medications for coccidiosis is Corrid. Corrid mimics thymine and the coxie eats it. It gets no nutrients and they starve and die. Another treatment for coxie this is my favorite. It's Baycox. Baycox kills coccidiosis at all stages when they ingest it. I think it's a 48 hour cure. Works pretty fast. Does a real good job. There's another brand on the market offhand, I don't remember the name of it, but it's it's Baycox with another name, probably made by Bayer. Your, kids, your pigeons can't perform when they got coccidiosis. Symptoms of it are loose watery droppings, sometimes bloody droppings, because when they're multiplying, they're bursting the cells. Um, lost the thought there. Forgive me. All this is off the top of my head, so bear with me. It, they, it just consumes the thymine. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to mention, while it's exploding the cells, the big problem becomes bacteria getting into the bloodstream and that's probably the biggest cause of the symptoms of coxie. Pigeons do build up an immunity to it. In Dr. Whitney's book, he claims that we never cure it. At that time, of course, we didn't have Baycox, which might cure it, I'm not sure. But look into it. Coxie will slow down your pigeons. On to the second part of this video. Before we go there, I'm going to remind you again. I'll provide that link. Click on it. It explains pretty much the life cycle of Coxie. And you'll understand how to deal with it. The second part of this video, 
I'm going to discuss sulfur. Sulfur is kind of like, uh, oh, what do you get out of the banana? Potassium. Potassium doesn't stay with the human body, especially old people like me. They recommend we eat a banana every day because it provides a lot of potassium. Sulfur is the same way. Your body doesn't store it, but it needs it, it needs it very badly. Every cell in your body should contain some sulfur. We often hear guys put a little garlic in the water. If they don't know why, it helps the birds, and it does. It provides sulfur. But there are other things on the market. DMSO, I think it's called. MSM is a sulfur product. MSM, the claim is that it coats the intestine. And in doing so, when eggs hatch, whether they be worms or coxie or something else, this coating prevents them from hooking on, you know, like a snake with them teeth, they hook on. The MSM is supposed to provide a coating that prevents that. And if it does, that's a big plus. MSM was basically an external treatment for horses with their ligaments. They would put it on bandages and things like that. They would have a sprained tendon or something along those lines. But some people or some trainers began feeding it to the horses. And strangely enough, the horses made better time, in some cases as much as a minute, depending on the horse. It's possible that MSM does that. What sulfur does in the body, it makes the cells pliable. Now, what's important about that? I could use a little of my neck here. Good for your skin. But in the lungs, and I imagine the air sacs, it allows the oxygen to be absorbed and transferred into the blood. That's probably why the horses could run faster. More oxygen, better muscle utilization. So MSM might be something you do a little research on. Look into it. If the coating works, you'll have less parasites. Sulfur does make your cells pliable. It allows the oxygen, once in the blood, to easily transfer to the muscle. Quicker, better endurance. I don't know how long term. I'm not a scientist. But I do understand how it can help. That's going to take some research. And when I say research, I don't mean go to a, a website that's selling the product. Get the scientific data. Anybody selling something is going to tell you everything good about it. The scientific proof is what you want. Don't, don't take anybody's word for anything. Not even me. Look into it. Do your homework. Do your research. Sulfur. Very, very good. 
see a pigeon. I believe. I guess that's it. We'll keep it kind of short. Again, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment. If you know anything about MSM or how sulfur functions in the body, please put that in the comments. I would love to read it. And if you can, refer me to the scientific data. Because that's when I'm going to believe it. Again, thank you for watching.